Hi guys, welcome to Co-Parenting with a Narcissist 101. I'm Kate. Welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, hit the bell button so you know when I upload some videos. All right, today, I apologize guys, this might be a long video. <laughs> Let me, please bear with me. I, I'm apologizing ahead of time. Um, today we're going to talk about Co-Parenting with a Narcissist and uh, kids adjustment to the new supply. This was... Um, a question that one of our friends here asked me so I'm like okay let me bring that up it was on my list but I'm like okay I could move that up and discuss that so you separated from the uh, the narcissist the left you left whichever one that happened and then the next week there's somebody else um I mean somebody else is not somebody else is just hanging out with somebody else actually living in their house now you know and your kids uh, going to visit because they, you know if they have visitation rights or whatever but the kids are uh, all of a sudden they approach uh, mommy is not alone anymore there's, there's a guy living in the house or oh, dad is not alone anymore there's a lady living in the house you know first of all if you're like my kids there's some sort of confusion you know and um, when they came back you know, my son was uh, saying um, that um, they had to, I remember they had to, something with the night light or something. Uh, they were supposed to sleep without the night lights or something. I'm trying to remember, guys. I'm sorry. And, um, but whatever it was, was, uh, oh, they were told to sleep in a different room, I think. And they didn't have a night light. And because the new supply is going to uh, sleep with daddy. Something like that. <laughs> I think that when they came, they thought it was somebody that's visiting, and but when I think when it was bedtime, it was it dawned on them that uh, it might not be what it is. So, and then they were telling them, "Oh, we're we're married now, and uh, she's gonna live here." Now, mind you, this is let's see, the divorce was complete and they moved out in August. This was happening around maybe November something like that you know this is why i keep telling you guys that the new supply did not magically appear you know they've always been there so they moved this person from a different country by the way so like i said <laughs> you see what i mean by it didn't just they did just meet them they is these people existing they are part of you guys' relationship so they moved them over and attend the kids but we're married now and they're gonna live there of course, like I said, the confusion about, you know, why is this person here? You know, you know, we just, you know, left the, the uh, you know, the, just, the father just moved out. So why is this person, so, you know, why is this, where, where is this person from? Because, you know, there, there's no, this is not somebody they've met before, you know, something like that. So why is this person now here and now they live with them? You know, probably the same question you <laughs> You know other people have but so they're gonna have some confusion in the beginning um, they're gonna felt that they uh, they're replaced which one of my, my 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 son was wondering why you know wow how come that uh, he, he's, he's kind of he actually used the word he's a uh, how can one one woman replace two kids exactly what he said and that really hurt me when he came back to tell me this like he felt that way but we get to how you know we talked about it they felt replaced and it because they felt replaced because just like every other narcissist chances are while they were with you they are very detached so the parents it might have been towards uh, mostly from you or the you know the kids get the 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 positive vibes mostly from you whether you're a girl uh, a, a woman or man they, they get it from you more, more so in the tend to lean uh towards that uh positivity you know so so them coming now and bringing somebody sort all of a sudden you know normally this would be the time for a parent that isn't completely connected with the children to maybe use that opportunity of this divorce or separation and of the relationship to connect with the child because now you actually have time to spend with them minus um uh, they have some time to minus you you know this will be time for them to reconnect so before while you're there you are like the 
uh, you're, you know, you're doing everything and they're in the corner doing what they do. You know, so now they actually have to spend time alone with the children. You think this is the time for them to reconnect with the child and, you know, learn something about the child. But no, immediately they jumped onto the next one because, the, you know, as we find out that they got to have something. They have to have something. This is about them. It's not about anybody. They're not thinking about the kids and adjustment to the uh, separation, adjustment to the divorce, or the adjustment to the end of the relationship. That's not, that is, that's none of your business. You understand? This is about them. <coughs> Excuse me. So this, of course, sends a message to, you know, your kids are older. In my own case, you know, my son kind of got it that this might, you know, they, they think maybe when they separate, you know, you separate or whatever, that there's some kind of chance that you guys are coming back together. Like this is a phase and I, I know that's what they thought. So, but the presence of the new supply now kind of seals the deal for some of them. For my son anyway, my daughter was still thinking like the stuff that she was saying to me uh, some months after that hadn't I knew that she thought it was some kind of brief period you know but the, and that's the difference in the age too with the children so uh, he was older so he's um thinking it was some kind of a phase that's gonna go away and then everything would be you know fixed so but with the presence of the new supply it, it dawned on him he made it clear that it was it was really over you know it's not happening and then now, now you understand why they are trying to adjust to this new person. Then the next thing you hear is uh, there's a baby on the way. <laughs> Do you understand how the kids, not only now for my own children, that's how they felt, which I'm sure some of the kids will feel that they might, they might not tell you, you know, that they have been replaced. And then there's another child, like right after, like, they got pregnant immediately like within that month you know so so there's another person coming now which you know the kids still feel some, some type of way even though they were telling them oh you're gonna have a new uh, brother uh, or new sister coming and you know now like i said a normal person that's they're not gonna spring this up on the kids first of all a normal person will not be in a, in a relationship like a few weeks after but you know that's by the way but the, the, there's no connection to the fact that I just threw a stranger to this to my children and then now I'm talking about another child and they're still here and I haven't really made connection with them. I don't really even know um, what grace that they are in without confirming from their mother. You know? <laughs> so, and I'm here talking about a brand new child coming in and then that's all they're talking about is a child, you know. So yes, the kids will feel a little out of sorts with, you know, that whole bam, bam, bam announcement, which is how it felt for them, you know. So when they come back and, you know, you have to, and this is why I, I, I keep saying that, you know, you getting your emotional, uh, being emotionally healthy and getting the kids, you put it, be in a solid place to for the kids to fall back on and you be in a place where um you're able to be calm and handle things and at the same time um connect have a connection with the children where you know they just know you got them you understand what i'm saying like they know that you know i i got you i don't mean it just saying i got you i, I really you know I, i've got you you know, they have to have that, they have to believe it, you know, coming from you. And the only way you get this to this point is getting a hold of yourself and your emotion and your reactions, <laughs> you know. So when they, um, this is all going on and, and you remember the smear campaign probably going on, they're talking about you, the whole people and everybody's looking at you, there's the flying monkeys going, every bad thing probably ever said in the history of you and them is all out there twisted everything they did to you you know like we said in the smear campaign you did to them so you have people looking at you crazy and people you know talking about i mean i heard so many things so many things some some people said it, but it's probably her fault you know she's she probably caused it i heard that and <laughs> so, you know because i mean she he was so nice 
you know I mean they couldn't have been it could have it, it has to be her you know so now this is the point in this that forget what is being said that you sit down I mean you lived it this is your life you lived it so there's no um, nobody's telling you anything um, nobody's gonna tell you what you went through because you went through it you lived here you might not nobody might have noticed it but you are not crazy so it happened so you're not gonna let what people are saying outside trying to distort what you know happened just so the, the, the blame can shift to you or you can feel some type of way that you're blamed for it no you gotta stand in your sanity okay because <laughs> you know what happened so when people are talking about um, this and that I kind of look at this and like so somebody left a relationship four weeks ago and they're already with somebody else and they are talking mad crazy stuff about you who where exactly do normal people normal same people hop into a relationship or even hop back to the old if they had an old supply that they doesn't know about this which is a good thing that you know about this so you don't be the old supply that they're finally coming back and leave the other supply to come back to you you know obviously those people didn't know about the situation with them so that's why they're able to fall back on the old ones so who does that like within uh weeks because it's really quick for these people not only is it quick that he ends up having you having a, a child right after like who in their sane mind will do that that's why you ask yourself first and believe it or not some of these people out there are asking the same question all these people that have been posted on youtube i mean um, youtube on facebook and whatever out there in the social media they're asking the same questions what normal person would do will do that quickly who does that <laughs> you know where did they do that at only a narcissist so why they are selling their stories and trying to convince the whole universe that uh, you were a horrible person that's why you know I got I had to leave or that's why you left you know what that you gotta be grounded in fact like who does that you know and at the same time because you lived this life you got to be comfortable you got to be comfortable to hear other people's opinion or whatever it is they're saying if they're close to you and not internalize it you know why because you live this you know what you went through you are not crazy you know what happened they might not know what happened but you know what happened and because you know what happened you're not gonna let anybody that's saying whatever it is a narcissist is saying to tell you that somehow you caused something that you know you didn't you're not gonna let that happen that's that's losing you your mind because <laughs> you know what you went through you know so narcissist jumps out jump into a relationship gets into uh, 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 yeah, another relationship and has a child right away all this obviously to show you see somebody else loved me I was able to get this and move this move on this quickly and do this and do that yes that's the message it's sending but is that normal that's a no that's not a normal behavior for people to do you know so why people are talking because people are gonna talk and like I say you you people are gonna talk about you regardless I could see you and find you could be the nicest person to me I could literally find something to talk about you you know people so people are gonna talk about you regardless so that's it's best you do you and because you have facts you have you live this life you are not gonna pay attention to what anybody's talking about from the narcissist you live this you know the lie you know the makeup stuff you know the it's all a bunch of bullshit so you are not gonna internalize this because you have your truth you are not going to spend time to trying to convince anybody because you know your truth you lived it and the funny thing with this is you give these people time they're going to hang themselves are people going to talk about oh oh my god you know she left her 
and uh, left him and went back to their old girlfriend and went back to their old boyfriend uh, um, oh she he left on the kids you know she probably did something you know, she, you know like yeah it's gonna happen but the fact that you know what you went through is what's going to keep you centered not to internalize what is being said now you see the kids come home and they're talking about this and they're confused and I sat my kids down I said you guys know uh, uh, that um, unfortunately your, your father doesn't think like us because I, I didn't want to use his a narcissist you know because I figured when, when they get older you know <laughs> so, as I said he doesn't he doesn't think like us and my son saying why how come you replaced us I said no no yeah you, you can never be replaced my dear you can never be replaced I'm here you know because when this happened they actually start having thought of uh if I'm, I am because they asked me you're gonna get a, a new husband I'm like well not not right now <laughs> You know because well because their dad already has uh so so and so i say well my dear i'm not i'm not your dad you know we, we, we it's, it's gonna be us for now you know we, we have things to do like i started naming things that we're planning to do you know places we wanted to go you know like our life uh um, together you know i say he doesn't he doesn't uh think like us you know he said well, he's, he's having a um a, a baby i said well that's nice but um we 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 got us right you know your mommy your, your mommy is here for you and you guys are here for mommy right and it so you gotta create that positive vibe now that when i mean that i mean that you, you're not going to sit down and castigate the new supply you don't know who the new supply is even if you knew who heard about him you know you don't really you don't you you, don't, you haven't had a conversation or you don't know that person as a uh as a human being other than what maybe the narcissist said or whatever it is if this is an old supply that he he went back to or she went back to but what you're not going to do and what I try not to do is to discuss the new supply with the kids. No, never. I don't. They're going to talk about, okay, we did this over there while we're there or whatever. But I don't sit down and start grilling. So did she do this to you or do that to you? No, because kids are kids. So whatever it is you're saying, event, something, it might come up where they're over there innocently. They might be discussing it and that comes up. But besides that, is for you to keep your area completely positive completely positive because over there is chaos over there is negativity over there they are fighting with each other over there because i mean you live this you already know what it, what's happened with you is happening over there it doesn't change these people don't change there's no magical pill that they take it gets it gets worse and if it's something they went back to be, what they had before, best believe it's going to be worse now. Because the last thing you want to do is go back after you successfully left the narcissist or they left you. It gets worse. You know? So, with the children, keep it positive. Do not discuss the, discuss the new supply. You don't know who that person is. Even if you met them before. You don't know who that person is. All you, all you know is what you've been told about. Keep it positive around the children. Do not discuss the new supply with the kids. And the kids sometimes will be talking about, oh, uh, the new um, uh, baby. And, uh, you know, every now and then my kids don't really talk that much about it. I mean, they know the child is this because they go visit them. But... Um, other than that, it's not something that really that they bring up too much here. And that's why you need, to, why I said you need to make your side <laughs> with them positive. No, no, I'm toxic. None of that crazy stuff that's going over there because it is going over there. He doesn't think like us. That's how I s explained it to the kids. He replaced us. I said, no, he, 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 you cannot be replaced. 
you are you. You know, you are still his kid. And I'm here. He just does not think like we do. And then you have my kids saying, oh, but I've, I've kind of feel sorry for the uh, the baby because he, you know, like I said, they always they download things when they come back. This happened, this over the happy He was screaming over there. He was so scared. So we went to the room, uh, all that stuff. Like he's talking, they're talking about it. You know, so then, then like they, they feel sorry for the, the new the new baby that's, you know. And then, like, this comment is why I say you keep your area positive. They said the the I'm feel sorry for for the baby because it's like he, the he, the baby doesn't have anywhere to go. I said, what does that mean? It's like, well, because we, we we get to come back here, you know, and that's what I meant by remove none of the don't bring none of that bullshit negative stuff towards you. Don't discuss the new supply. Don't discuss their relationship with your narcissist. With the children don't discuss anything about them going on with the children D keep the relationship the narcissist the new baby everything out from when the kids come home let it be about you and the children that's it do not entertain even if they tell you what's going on you listen obviously you want to make sure that you're safe while they're there but other than that don't sit down and chit chat so this happened and then she did what and then that happened like don't go digging information and discussing the new supply or discussing the new supply with some other people in the church or some other people in the meeting no 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 you see all these people outside are waiting for you to say stuff about these people like it's entertainment for folks that's what i'm trying to tell you it's entertainment for folks why are you going to fit into that don't be part of that circle the left Moved on to the next person, you know, people run into you. Oh, what happened? Well, it is what it is. You know, it was over and that's it. This is my life now. Most people trying to listen and sit down and just no, because whatever you talk, you discuss with people, they run, some of them are going to run back and say, oh, the, but she said this. And then it comes back, but she he said that. And then, it, you know, it goes back and forth. You do not have time for this. And it, not only does he do that, it, it keeps you trapped, you know? It keeps you trapped. You should be focusing on you. So he he moved on. She moved on. Remove yourself from that situation. Physically, you're not there, so you don't even discuss it. Beyond the, what the kids tell you, oh, they come back and they see like, oh, okay, well that's wonderful. So what are we gonna do today? Bring it back to what you guys are doing. Keep your environment with your children, your inter your, your interaction with the children, positive. Don't buy into the com They're going to talk. People are going to talk. Regardless. But what you're not going to do is feed them the information or give them ammunition. You stop discussing this stuff. If you've discussed this with the most, the closest people, family members, whatever that are for you, that's what I said this, when I, one of my videos, I said you have to know which support system you have. Because some people are supposed to uh, are out to, you guys are cool as long as you're miserable. So you need to know which support system you're dealing with and keep it there. People are going to talk regardless. But you are not going to provide the ammunition. You are not going to provide the, the discussion. You know your facts. You know your truth. You lived it. You lived it. So whatever anybody is saying outside is none of your business. Keep it positive with your children keep it drama free with your children connect emotionally with your children do not bring in Knox and his new relationship or new child or whatever it is with the thing you know because if you are bothered about all that stuff the kids will feel it now it seems like a diff two different war zones they go over there it's toxic they come over here you're still talking about this person and then the community is is entertainment and it keeps going and you you're trapped you can't heal you know keep it positive ladies keep it positive guys this is what how or this is how you're gonna make sure that you and the kids are emotionally you know healthy and you you are connected and the kids know they can rely on you 
don't worry about the new supply and in, in, in a few months or a year there's gonna be another supply too so <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter guys it does not matter keep it positive with the kids that is all you need to do don't feed people drama don't discuss the drama don't discuss anything if you keep talking to people about this to the community if you keep talking to people about to the people outside outside of your circle that you know they're all for you and you keep making people that are support you the, the your, your support system you pick the wrong group you're gonna be stuck and you keep relieving this you're gonna be stuck and you keep relieving this because you will not heal stay positive people stay positive all right guys get your mind right everything else will fall into place i apologize for the long video guys i keep going i you know i start going i can't stop <laughs> all right take care i'll see you in the next